Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the difference between the do in order block and the do together block, and how we can use them most efficiently. By default, everything is do in order. We can see the do in order is built in right here. Do in orders are done sequentially, and of course, do togethers are done at the same time. So let's take a look at the eagle, and let's put it right to some code. So first, we're going to start by grabbing the spread wings and then the fold wings. So we run it, he spreads his wings and folds his wings. Now I want the bison to turn while the eagle is spreading his wings and folding his wings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bison and we're going to have the bison turn left a quarter turn and then turn right a quarter turn. So both the eagle and the bison will end up at the same place they were. Now a common mistake people make is they say, okay, I want these things to happen. I want them both to do it at the same time, so I'm going to grab a do together and put everything inside the do together. So let's run it. Nothing's really happening or it might be glitching out a little bit. So what's going on? What's going on is the eagle is spreading his wings and folding his wings at the same time, and the bison is turning left and turning right at the same time, so it's all canceling each other out. So what we actually want is we want a couple of do and orders inside our do together. So let's go to do and order. The eagle is going to start by spreading his wings and then folding his wings. And then another do and order, and the bison is going to turn left and turn right. So while both of these do and orders will happen at the same time, these commands inside the do and orders will be happening sequentially. Let's run and see what happens. Now sometimes what we want to do is we want to loop through this so we can have them keep doing it over and over again. So I'm going to go to count and I'm going to put uh, count 10 and I'm going to put the do together inside the count 10. Now I feel like the eagle needs to be doing this a little bit quicker because eagles are fast. So I'm going to say duration 0.25 and fold wings duration 0.25. So let's see what happens. So they are doing them together, but the eagle's, you know, sitting still most of the time. And we're going to talk about why this happens. So what's happening here is that the eagle is spreading its wings and folding its wings and that only takes a half second total. Whereas the bison is turning left and turning right and that takes two seconds total. So it doesn't finish the do together loop until everything inside it is completed. So until the bison's done, we don't loop around here again. So a way to deal with this is we're going to put two count loops inside instead of one outside. So let's put this count loop inside here. And then we'll put another count loop inside here. So both of these count loops are going to be operating independently because they're both inside the do together. Let's see how this works. Okay, they're all constantly moving at the same time. Now we've got another problem. The eagle stopped first. The eagle made it through its 10 repetitions in a quarter of the time as the bison did. So this is why we need to pay attention to how long it takes to execute inside a block of code. So if the eagle is executing these two commands in half second times 10 is 5 seconds, and the bison is taking 2 seconds times 10 seconds, which is 20 seconds, the eagle is going to complete it 4 times as fast. So we need to have the eagle repeat it 4 times as often. So we're going to say repeat 40 times. Now they will both be doing it at the same time. They will start at the same time and end at the same time. But since the eagle is moving four times as fast, the eagle has to do four times as many movements so that they both end at the same time. You have to be a little careful when you're using do togethers and do in orders and loops. But always consider how long does it take for something to happen, where do we want the loop, 
and when we've got something inside a loop, everything has to complete before the loop starts over. 